Hello everyone, this is Autumn Water. Welcome back, Purple Space Program. Let's play. Let's get right into it. Okay, last time when I left, I left, uh, I left the rocket on the pad. I took it off. I, I've had a couple of minor thoughts and ideas about stuff. First and foremost, we do want to achieve orbit. That's a huge thing. Also, I want to be able to land in the various different biomes on Carbon because then we get more science. And if we get more science, we can unlock more things. And as we unlock more things, then we can do more stuff. Such as, um, well, I could make a lunar flyby with the equipment I have. I'd much rather do it with a larger rocket than stacking up a gigantically huge rocket. It's, it's just, you know, that's just how it is. It's like, I could do this better this way than if I were to do it with the parts I currently have. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna build a new rocket and I do want to be able to lift off and land. And when I say land I do mean actually mean land. Like on land. Kinda like the Soy how the Soyuz does, except the Soyuz doesn't have uh, extender legs or anything for that nice gentle landing. I am going to put extender legs on something. So first things first, because I still only have the one Kerbal command pod. And then next we're gonna we're gonna go put a little science. I need Science Junior. I'm gonna put the mystery goo container. I'm gonna symmetry it onto two sides here. Now, I'm going to rotate that around to the back, because I intend to put a ladder down the back. I should have one by now, maybe. Uh, landing strut, service bay, radiator panel... No, I don't. Hmm. Okay, well, first things first, we're going to put two. That's right, two parachutes. The two of the good parachutes. Onto. I'm gonna set this to angle snap as well too instead of round snap. There we go. So our Kerbal will get out and he'll just simply fall off and we'll have to recover them separately. But on the flip side of that, we could still get them both. We could still recover everybody. All they have to do is just simply land safely. Micro landing strut. I'm going to set this to four. I'm going to put that right about there. Pull it. Okay. Just as long as it like doesn't like destroy everything, it's all good. Okay. Right like that. Okay. I'll put the Communitron on here. I can just stick it right on the top now. Utility, no. Aerodynamics. Heat, shield. Because yes, surviving is a must. So. Our control pod, our control pod. Sciencey things. Landing gear. Next up, structural. We're going to put a stack the coupler on. And then we're going to do. Of course, we're going to have a fuel tank. Well, let me look at my engines real quick. What do I have? Oh, I have the little poodle. Okay, I have the little terrier. So, what we'll do is I'll put a small fuel tank on here. I'm going to set this back to one. And then on the engines, I'm going to put the little terrier. And then back to structural, because it don't work well if you fire that engine and everything beneath it just kind of explodes. That's just no good. It doesn't work. See? You like my trippy? Ooh, trippy. Okay. 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 
So then next we're going to do a fuel tank. I'm going to put two of these under here. There's kind of a second stage with the... Uh, which one's got the... One of these has a... I mean, one of these has a little bit more thrust. The other has a little bit of vectoring control. Okay. Yeah, it's that one. Okay. And then we're going to do... Another decoupler. This is going to be a three-stage rocket. Well, technically four, if you count this stage, the uh, command stage, and then I've got the uh, service module stage, I have the orbital stage, I have the lift stage, and then I'm going to probably add some solid rocket boosters to it. No, I take that back. I'm going to add some liquid ro liquid fueled rockets to it, liquid fueled engines. Okay, but we need to put this next stage on. So. I'm going to put here, I'm going to put three tanks on here, two, and three, now we'll do four, we'll do four, and then I'm going to put uh, another one of these on here, there we go, and then we're going to set this back to four, because we're going to put four rocket boosters on it. Structural tank de uh, radial decoupler. There we go. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to put one under. Model that. And then above, and then above, I'll go to our aerodynamic surface and we'll put the nose cones on here. Um, I don't have, okay, I don't have the structural thing yet, but that's okay. Utility, um, no, I'm sorry, I need engine. There we go. Okay, I want all five of these engines to fire at the same time. I want them all to start at the same time. But I'm going to limit the thrust on this lower stage to 50%. I'll limit it to 51. Because I want this inner stage to last longer. I mean, I could do that. There's two different ways I could do that. I could reduce this by one, increase this by, increase the in middle one by one or two, or I could set the limit on the bottom here. And by the time these ones come off, I should be up high enough that even at max thrust at 50%, I should be doing pretty good in terms of humping it out and getting getting somewhere. And finally, yes, we're going to use Jet because I don't have any other control. So we're going to put Jeb in. Uh, no, I didn't want that. I want to save. I should probably put a name here. I'm going to call this uh, Super Science C1. And save. There we go, Super Science E1. Now let's roll on out to the pad. Alright, here we are. Now, if I were to have the uh, structural things, and I probably pick that up in the next science when I pick up the next science, um, I'll then be able to attach these a bit better. This is kind of hopefully only for this kind of run. I'm going to 
I set this to stage only. Right now I'm connected to the ground. And we're going to ignite here in three, two, hold on. Stage only. Uh oh, oh, oh. I don't have an RCS, but I do have pilot, so structural, so SAS module on. Okay, let's just get, we're going to lift off here in three, two, one. And we have ignition and liftoff. Wow, that's loud. Hold on real quick. Really, really quick. I uh, know, you guys are going, no, but I need to like... Turn down how loud the thrust is. <laughs> there we go. That's a bit better. Okay. And we're making some pretty good speed here. Let's be lift off. I don't know why it keeps turning. Show that. I need to see that. As we look down here, you can clearly tell I'm putting some put, I'm putting some speed on here. I'm gonna cross. I mean, I'm gonna cross 200 meters a second here, real quick. our thrust a bit, and I'm going to start angling us. No! Okay. Up, 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 come on. Whoa. Alright then, I'm going to do it real fast. Quick turn. Okay, that is what we're going to do. Manage to cut off. Goodbye to that. I will cut off. I wish I could cut off individual engines, but, you know, it doesn't quite work like that. Okay. <laughs> As I go through the raining debris of uh, rocket engines here, fighting my fighting the rocket here a little. Alright, so structurally wasn't too huge, but I need to apparently adjust my uh, mm. Okay, well this mission Okay, well, clearly this mission is going to be a failure. But it will be a successful failure in that I will return Mr. Kerbin back to Kerbin. However, are going high enough to actually be in space here. Alright, and that's the end of that stage. Go back to 
your uh, view here. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm not going to achieve orbit. I am, however, going to look to try to see if I can make some sort of land landing here. A little hard on the dark side of Kerbin. Mm, I'm close. Gonna be hard to tell. Okay. That is okay. And then what we will do is, uh, well, first we jettison the service module. Uh, okay, we are high enough. Let's see if we can get anything out of this. No, not really here. Observe mystery goo. No, not here. Okay. Um, no, let's make a crew report. Because we always make out. No, it's not even going to be worth anything. Let's go back to this. How high are we going to go? 151. Yay. Nope, I'm not even going to get that. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and... Am I going this way? Yes. So go ahead and we'll realign for uh, And we'll just kind of zoom, zoom, zoom. See on the dark sky of Kerbin. Because now we're going to start dropping like a rock. Let's be clear, I'm coming in ultra fast here. This is why we also have a heat shield. And these two shoots are also the larger shoots too, so they help even more. I put two on because this way we can slow down even better right before we right before we hit. They also deploy at a much higher altitude as well. I mean I could extend the landing gear, but there's no point. This is clearly going to be a water landing. I just gotta fast forward through this. Now, also with the uh, with the two larger shoots, they also open up completely at a higher altitude instead of at a lower altitude like the like the singular cone shaped one does. What I like to do is when I finally get the larger rocket, I actually put three on and make it look like an Apollo landing. The 
three shoots going and everything. All right, here we go. Nice, gentle splashdown, and we're gonna roll over. And uh, let's see here. Um, first things first. Observe. I don't think I will water well. Science is science. Mystery goo. Okay, I already got that. Crew report. EVA. Okay. Take surface sample. Grab on and beat it back on board. Okay, and we will now recover the vessel. Hopefully, this will give us just enough science to get a little bit more structural in so we can make all the rest of this work. Yes, okay, science, science, science. Good, good, good. Jeb, ready for next assignment. Done to the science pad. We want that. Yes, we're going to take general construction. And when I get the larger rocket parts, but don't have the larger command module, I can adapt to it still. Okay, we're going to take that. Yeah, the really good landing gears are there. Um, aviation, which has got control wings and stuff for landings. Basic science. Like, if I ever wanted to make a mission where I could just don't want to risk anybody, I just stick that on top. I'm just like, I am a probe. Okay. But we are going over, and we are done with this one. Next time, we're going to modify our rocket just slightly and do it again. Till then, catch you all on the flip side. Bye.